Hi everyone, welcome to Ramsey Lodge for another week. Um, yeah, here we uh, finally uh, be home. Pretty finally put her head in front. She's uh, been knocking on the door for a long time. Just um, really interesting that also uh, she's been sort of getting beaten two and three lengths and quite often. And uh, just uh, finally we uh, took the option to go down to Hamilton and uh, try and find a, a track with a bit of sting out of the ground. And uh, I thought she really hit the line. Good, amazing how horses can let down. Uh, so much better with just that little bit of edge off the ground where she'd been running on tracks that have been quite firm and um, hasn't really suited her. But um, that was actually a uh, heat of the Never Wilson series. So she probably is eligible now to go down to Warrnambool next Wednesday to uh, have a run in the uh, the final of that series. It's a benchmark 70, so it's probably going to be perhaps a little bit strong for her. Um, we, but we might have to find a... Um, we'll, we'll put her in the race and see how it is, but um, she can probably be paced a little bit better than that and might be a lesser grade... Uh, um, and see how she goes there. But um, anyway, good to get a result, and well done to the owners. They've been very, very patient. I tell you, it's uh, had 20 starts for only one, and one win's always difficult. But uh, she's had a couple of wins now, and she can put another one together before uh, while the winter's around. Uh, be a good result. Yeah, now a couple of runners this week at Geelong. Um, aloof, we're going to step him up. He's uh, We've been driving him nuts out of the gates and putting him forward. He just seems a horse who races better when he's forward. Um, but they, um, you know, 11 and 1200 meter races, there's always been that real lot of early pressure. So we're just going to take him up to the 1500 where he should be able to bounce and just sort of spend nothing early um, and then have a good kick late. So it's just a bit of an experiment with him. Um, he's certainly in his work. He looks, he seems like a 14, 1600 meter horse. So hopefully that'll work out really well. Um, I suppose we'll find out. We're going to be geniuses or mugs on Sunday but um, horse is in good nick, very sound, healthy horse that horse, so um, uh, he gets his chance there. Crafty Lion, I'll give him a crack at the uh, 2400 metres, he'll uh, probably go to the paddock after this, He's, um, he, uh, I thought he raced average first up, um, his work in between has been okay, um, we're just going to have a good look at him over this sort of trip and uh, see how he goes, we won't be as aggressive, um, he got ridden very, very aggressively first up for us the other day and um, um, we'll probably just ride him, box seat him or something and see how he goes, but um, horse is very, very fit, but um, whether he's had enough, uh, enough or not, I'm not really sure. Yeah, now, uh, obviously, the Warnable Carnival this weekend, probably going to have two runners. Anacreon went really good the other day, um, rode her differently and uh, kicked her out and put her forward rather than riding her back off the speed. Um, there's a 1700 metre race there. Uh, I'll put her in. Um, she might be a little bit down in the order of entry, so I'm not really sure if she'll get a run, but if she gets a run, she'll go there. And obviously, beyond pretty, um, I'll put her in a 1700 metre 64, but she's also eligible for the final of the Never Wilson series. Um, and uh, so we'll have a look at those two races, but they'll probably be our only runners down there. Um, Prince Ziggy's racing um, today at uh, Kilmore. Um, if he happened to run a blinder and get home, and uh, we might consider backing him up in a 2,000 metre race, but I'll, I wouldn't think so. But um, uh, looks like a Nacrian will be our only runner, um, only definite runner down at Warrnambool. G'day guys, uh, welcome to Around the Stables. Uh, unfortunately, our horse from last week, uh, Lauren Zetti, he uh, lost the rider. The horse in front of him looked like it was going to kick up and uh, he'd come across for a nice bit of cover, but uh, it sort of sat back in his lap and uh, he just clipped heels with it. Uh, but fortunately enough, both horse, rider are fine. Um, and certainly as far as the horse goes, he's still uh, eating his head off and uh, he's uh, bright as a button and still jumping around, being usual Zetti. So, um, but unfortunately, that's racing. Um, that's the way it goes sometimes so you can have everything set up for a couple of years but uh, anyway we'll uh, we'll live to fight another day that's it for another week at MC Lodge thanks for watching um, Warnable this week uh, Tuesday Wednesday Thursday get down there it's one of the greatest times but I, I just think the other day I think it's the only three-day carnival anywhere I can't remember too many places having carnival three days in a row there's plenty of places have sort of three and four days over a week or so period but I don't know if there's too many that have the three in a row um, yeah it's, uh, it's like schoolies for 40-year-olds, Warnable. Everyone gets down there and plenty of blokes get down there and have a good time, have a game of golf, etc. But um, make sure you get down there if you can get an opportunity. I'm not a jumps trainer, but to, uh, to watch the jumps race on Cup Day is something you need to go and have a look at, especially if you're a, a racing enthusiast. So get down to Warnable next week um, and uh, have a good time, no doubt. Just thought I'd mention North Melbourne. They demolished Hawthorne through the week. Just thought I'd mention that. James, good on you. Till next week, see you later. G'day guys, uh, welcome to Around the Stables. Uh, today's horse is a filly by Moshe called Mosh Vago. Uh, Steady. <laughs>